Hey guys, so I am a little bit unprepared. Oh my gosh, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? It's like this this bottle just spilled on me. Okay, all right. Well, I think I think I think I got it fixed. Okay, I don't know, but I'm gonna move the boppy. Move her out of the boppy. Yep, and move her out of the boppy for now. I'm gonna slide over so I can feed her and get her ch then I'm gonna get her changed Ugh. see I never like prepare for this stuff like I should have had this all worked out but she was so jealous that everybody been getting mommy time and she hasn't gotten any mommy time and this bottle is leaking I think it's leaking at the bottom what up? It's leaking at the top. Hang on, guys. See, this is the kind of stuff that people should edit out their videos. But I don't have a good mind to do it. This bottle just seems like it's just leaking. Like... Girl, you gonna like have a shower? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. She wanna chew on the nipple. There you go. I don't know, child. This sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I'm telling you I need an editor. Like it is crazy. Like I don't, I don't know. I don't know how you guys, so I look at other people's videos and it's like, oh my gosh, they make it look so effortless and it, it be all smooth and a transition and then you just see them click over to the next scene and all that and stuff and child, the struggle be real. Every now and then I'll go back and I'll cut something out or whatever, but mm -mm. oh my gosh, I, as you guys can see though, she has been being um, handled and dealt with. I. I told y'all I love my Bella baby. She ain't going to neglect it. You guys don't see her on camera because I've been changing the other babies. But oh, trust, she's been getting her cuddles in and her change, her clothes changed, and all that good jazz. But right now we're on a Tanika two one three two one three streak. Okay, um, she's gonna put on her cupcake outfit in a few minutes after I get her changed, and um. Like I said, Law uh, Kira, I always want to call it Kyra, but it's Kira. Um, she sent a whole bunch of stuff for Bella, like just specifically for Bella. And so I've been using that. And this little outfit, all my babies have pretty much wore. This outfit, I've had it since Zoe, which was Zoe by Claire Teller, which was like three years ago or so. Three Three maybe yeah three years ago I think and um Zoe was the one that started it all with my fascination with Claire Taylor work but I she wore it Jay wore it um, a lot of my reborns actually wore it as well like that came through the nursery this is one of my little classic outfits I don't even know oh I got I know where I got it I got it from um the thrift store once upon a child I got it from there and I've like loved it ever since and I've I've had it ever since. And then who else? Yeah, so I have that. Like that's that's how I do too. And a lot of times, like if I wanna buy another baby, I don't I try not to shop and buy like all types of clothes and pacifiers and accessories and like right now I wanna buy a new crib, but I'm not gonna do that because if I get a new wanna get a new baby I gotta wait and plus I'm trying to reorganize and restructure this whole room where most of my dolls are mostly stationed I want to like actually convert it into almost like a nursery like a nursery slash TV room so I may actually even give away some of my furniture just to do that I know that might sound crazy however it's for me it's my it's my it's my place of calm and so 
nobody really visits me and stuff like that so i don't really need and plus i have a whole nother living room so it, it doesn't matter um i'll still have a sitting space in here but mostly me and gabby come in here you know we go over her sight words and stuff like that and you know she play with her dolls and mommy play with her dolls i know that sounds crazy but you know and i do or i do and i do most of my videos or my pictures in here and stuff like that so i want to make it more set up for that like because i have to keep taking you know down stuff and moving stuff and moving stuff around and then when people come when i do have someone come over which is i say people but you know the kids or my mom stop by or you know whatever i have to change i don't even know if she's drinking it yeah she's drinking it i have to change the um you know move stuff around and put something here and put something there i don't want to have to do that i want to have like a set spot that i can just okay this is where my babies are boom this is where people sit watch tv you know, if you come over for a short visit or whatever, because baby, all visits are very short because honey, I can't do people for long. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, that, you know, that's where I'm at now. So, I really, um, I really want to you know make some changes on that now what i will say this is the one thing that you know i've been talking about the join it next and now and you know and it sounds like i've like switched out on the full next i will say this is something i absolutely love about the full neck like i don't have to worry about it when she's turned this way there's no separation or anything and, and she just it just looks so real and the one other thing that's so amazing about um these babies that i'm very big on is the head shape i love the little wonky egg shaped heads i love those because that is realistic to me um i don't like the, the fat flat heads but i know some real babies do have them or whatever um i don't know if people make them like that. i'm just saying i i just prefer oh i just prefer the I just prefer the uh the egg shaped heads and stuff like that. Bella's head big, but it's still kind of egg shaped. When you hold her, you'll 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 get what what I'm talking about when you're feeling in, in your hair. And if you when you see, I know when you guys seen the kids ball, you see people see the shape of the heads and they're like, oh my god, why is the head shaped like that? Like it look like an alien and stuff. Sometimes some people make comments like that, but when you when you they get rooted and everything and stuff and you hold them you're like oh yeah that's real that's real right there that's the real um but yeah sometime you know i still have this this thing with me and i, I don't know if y'all do this too like you see babies that pop up that's available or you see an artist working on a baby and you kind of can picture who you would see who that baby would go to like you'd be like that look like so and so would get that baby or i would love to see that baby in so and so nursery it's so weird like the things that we do with collecting and being in a part of the actual doll community um and so many people don't know that that our community exists you know, even though a lot more people are starting to stumble across, you know, our dolls and our videos and stuff like that, they don't realize that it's a whole community of us. And it, I mean, you know, like I said before, it, it has, she got a little lint right on her lip. There's a lot of, um, a lot of negativity and a lot of, you know, dishonest things that goes on in the community, but... There's also so much fun. Like, I love, you know, watching the funny posts. I love watching the excitement of the box openings. People be getting their new babies. And you know what? I, I know this. this I know I said I wasn't going to throw shade, but I'm not throwing shade at why well, I'm kind of. Okay, anyway, I'll just be honest. 
I actually get a kick out of watching sometimes those box openings where people will be like extremely extra. Like you know they're really putting on for the camera. And how you know this is because um, when they be like, oh my God, this baby is so beautiful. And they hadn't even opened the baby up yet. And I'm like, they hadn't got to it yet. They, they're like ahead of the schedule. Like they, they've already praised the baby and said how beautiful it is before they actually get to it. I'm like, that's funny. Like, you know, but hey, whatever. Sometimes you do, you get really excited. You see a foot and you be like, oh my God, this is beautiful, you know. So I'm not going to say it's necessarily, you know, fake, but sometimes it do be funny. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Be like extra extra read all about it i think that's how it was with my zoe when i got my first uh silicone baby that was done by clint taylor like i didn't never think that i would be able to afford one and i got it second hand so i got it for a really good price and i was so excited like i was so excited like i mean i was saying all kinds of stupid stuff in that video like I sounded like a pure nut. Like, I didn't even get mad when people came across that video and was like, you sound so stupid. Because I was agreeing with them. And then, like, or they was like, what did she just say? I think I said, this baby got, oh, look how deep the root canals is. And I was talking about the ear. And I was like, look how deep the root canal is. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm such an idiot. Like, and for those that don't know, Old Navy is one of my favorite uh, stores to shop in true this came from old navy um i know i am extra with the carters clothes too i buy them a lot i know i know i know but i do also buy a lot from um old navy i used to do children's place a lot but now that i don't <clears throat> work right there buy it and don't get to go there to the mall as much as i used to because i used to go to the mall on my lunch break um, I don't get out there as much, so I don't get to, to go there. And I have a car that's like right here by me. So, of course, Carter's is my store. And then I have an Old Navy right there by me. So, that's where I go. That is my go-to place. So, plus, you know, I don't want to spend a lot of, I make my choices. And like I told you guys, I ain't rich. Um, I make it do what it do. I stretch my money to the best of my ability to be able to still have some enjoyment out of life because we ain't gonna be able to take this money with us. And, you know, what's the point of being miserable and all you can ever do is just pay bills, pay bills, pay bills. So, I do make my money stretch and stuff. But I don't, you know, I choose, I love the, 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 uh, fancy clothes and stuff on other people's babies and stuff. I actually love them sometimes on my babies. I won't even lie, but I can't, I, I make a choice to choose, am I going to spend the money on the doll or the clothes? So if I could do both, I probably would. I don't know, but I don't know. This is my style anyway. This is how I dress my real baby. So I probably, I probably would more so with the dolls because they don't mess it up versus real babies but I actually um don't do it because I put most of my money in buying the actual doll so that's how they go oh my gosh she looks so stinking cute in this Bella is my love joy I really love her love 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 her I am hoping and hoping that Claire Continue to put out kids from time to time so that I can be able to get a kid because this This baby is a real treat like You know, I've had people come on and well I'll I'll talk about that in another video because I don't want to go too long I'll give y'all a little bit of tea Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up